and it takes a few seconds and it shows you for concrete footing, you're using 110.9 bags. Block work, you're making use of 23.6 bags of cement. And this is the current price of cement. Hello everyone, welcome to the Academy for Digital Learning and Mastery Studio. Over time, we've seen so many point surveying softwares such as PlanSwift, CostX, and even Autodex Revit, which have helped in 5D estimation, quantity takeoff, and quantity analysis. But no software has taken it to this level where we have to look at how to not just prepare our quantity takeoff, but value engineering in depth now this software does not just do your quantity takeoff for you it's a user-friendly software that allows for easy quantity takeoff it generates accurate cost estimates and all you have to do is just select the materials and labor that is required for this project based on the database that you have now one major benefit of this new software that which i'll be putting us through the features of this software is that it provides very detailed breakdown for all costs that are associated with the project. This software might be helpful when you are trying to understand where the costs that are coming up on each stage of the projects, where they are coming from and how to reduce them and all of that. Now, this software basically it's useful for builders, contractors, even everyone that would be working in the construction industry to prepare quantity takeoff cost extraction. Okay, this software now it in, it includes major functionality for project management, for collaboration of multi users, and all of that. This new software, which I've been introducing us to in this session, this is a first part of two part videos, has taken cost engineering to a new fit entirely, and I'll be showing you the first set of features of the software. This is. A completed project with this software now with this software here we can see we have the cost item which is the summary of each item of work then we have the cost basic estimates and the total cost estimate now this software also measures in error hmm? so now it helps you to calculate your initial cost and cost of construction while you're carrying out this project so it's like you can do your cost variance while at every stage of your project, so you know where you are, what you spent on each of the stage of project. Let's come down to reports down here. Well, that is reports. There are so many things you can do. This is a existing project that has been completed. Yeah. So I will just be showing you major highlight features, and we will still be having full review of the software as time comes. Now, for this first part here, we talk about the materials aspect. Now for this, this is a project that the quantity takeoff has been done already. Hmm? Now, for you to get how the quantity takeoff has been done, the stages that we've gone through before we got to this page is a very few steps. Just like this video and subscribe to this channel because in the next set of series of videos that you'll be seeing, you'll be seeing how all of this is achieved. But I'll just be bringing us the highlights of this software for you to see where we are now in cost engineering and value engineering. Where, where many other kinds of softwares are yet to even achieve or even take to this account by providing a very user-friendly experience. Now, under these material resources here, if we come back to this project, Ed, this is our project title here. Now, the item of work we'll be checking out for, which is our substructure groundworks. Now, I want to see the actual materials for each items of work. Now, we've come down to cement right here. Click on the cement, then click on apply filter. Now, just to click on apply filter, it shows you the total numbers of cement in bags that we'll be using for this project. Now, not just the total numbers alone, but even the price and the total cost of this particular material. For example, for this groundwork here, the cement we'll be making use of, we have a total of 134.7 bags. That's the total bags of cement that we'll be, we'll be making use of. Now, it's not just telling you okay this is the amount of cement you'll be making use of but you will, you can even go further to even see at which point will you be making use of each of the cement you've seen now at this stage here you see for this groundworks here you see we have 
for concrete footing we are using just 810.9 bags of cement while for block working foundation we are using 23.86 bags of cement and the current price is here so this way you can easily prepare your purchase order or work order easily and faster based on this software because now you are not just doing your coin take off and coin extraction but you are having a foresight of your materials okay and this is not just anyhow it is detailed as materials based on all cost estimation formulas so instead of you to prepare your coins take off prepare your bill then go back to start preparing the format for your material and labor schedule in excel and even start adding up everything which is very rigorous time consuming and it can be very annoying and prone to errors now this software while you are just doing your coin take off it has calculated for the quantities of these materials at the background so you can need the, if you need this any of this information you can just pull it out from anywhere okay now which is what we've seen here already we have this for concrete footing we have 110 bags and block working foundation we have this so the total cost of all of this is here so you can quickly use this to send you can send this up to your client or you can send this to your supplier to just supply all of this now you can another major feature here is this rate you can turn the rate off so if you just want to prepare an on price bill or just a purchase order yeah just say this to the subcontractor once you turn this rate off export to pdf and voila now it's not it doesn't just stop here let's check for other items of uh, materials here we have your sharp sand let's say sharp sand and granite now let's say we want to prepare a purchase order for sharp sand and granite which we know we get our sharp sand probably a day to when we carry out our work or you can make your order down for all the sharp sand and granite that we're making use of to complete that particular work now I remember here our focus here is just substructural works i hope you understand now this is sharp sand and granite here click apply filter now once you do this you see your sharp sand here the summary is 46.50 tons and your granite is 26.60 tons okay so this is the total quantity for your sharp sand and your granite that will be used completely for this substructural work okay now let's see the breakdown what happened here now if you click on this here you see the project title here you see this that's what groundwork substructure we have this let's say we have a complete item measurement where we have groundwork um first floor second floor third floor and all of that now you see for groundwork that's substructure we have 46.5 tons of sharp sand that we use for just the groundworks alone now if you have the first floor works also that is the way it's going to arrange everything for you automatically now we just check where we are incurring this cement here now it's telling you that for concrete footing alone you are making use of 10.71 72 tons while for block work you are making use of 35.78 tons now if you turn this rate on because you can get the total cost the total cost for your sharp sand here is 255,776 naira 0.71 that is how detailed it's going based on your quantity takeoff alone now let's check for here also granite here same breakdown also now with this here we have your just for concrete footing because this is only concrete work we have in this in the groundwork this is just for a somehow strip foundation where you have your concrete footing and your block work alone and you have the summary of that cost here so the total cost of this is 439,611 naira 0 0.03 cobble to the cobble and this is all based on your quantity takeoff okay now other softwares all you just do is do your quantity takeoff then start typing the quantities manually into your bill of quantity formats either in excel or any other software you are making use of but yeah you are not just getting the quantity takeoff alone you are getting the detailed cost breakdown cost analysis okay now let's see if you have a situation where you need to prepare the entire summary of materials with this say you see this checkbox up here you can just check everything and just click apply filter once click that it gives you the cost of every material that is used both for concrete work block work um carpentry works that's the woodwork that's for your earthwork support forming and all of that as you've measured for it and it's giving you a total amount in error 
it has considered your rates including VAT. Once I turn this rate off, I can just prepare this as my material breakdown and send to my subcontractor. If I'm if I'm to have a store unit or a warehouse unit, which which happens in Nigeria, yeah, just send this to the warehouse unit. So you know what you are releasing for this particular work. You know the materials you are purchasing. You know the material you are releasing for work. I can track the usage. Okay, this makes cost management easier and faster. Now let's move to another major feature of this software, which is for labor. Yeah. Now, for this labor aspect too, like I said, no other software has taking it to itself to actually give users this level of details no nah now let's see project this is our project title here then the summary is ground works then this is for now you can just select all of the labels just like we did for materials then apply filter now with this software here you will get in all of the labels that you would be making use of your labor for excavation this is the volume of work to be done in cubic meters this is your rate per cubic meter and this is the summary here now you know on a normal day in our bill of quantities we only have just the sum of this and this our bill of quantities was prepared based on the quantity takeoff we did with another software then we typed in the quantities manually for those of us that use autocad also for a quantity takeoff plan suite for quantity takeoff and all any other software for quantity takeoff all you are just able to do with all of the software was do your quantity takeoff, export it to whichever software you want to make use of the quantities, then you start preparing your cost estimation, cost analysis, and all of that manually. Now we have a software now which does not just do your quantity takeoff for you alone, but prepares your cost management details, your cost engineering details, your material details, the labor details for every item of work related to your quantity takeoff so you have your summary here for excavation labor your concrete labor block work labor filling compacting form work for all of these items of work we have the quantity of work to be done so if you want to just prepare an unpriced bill turn off your rates export to pdf and export this in a very neat format okay so that's another major feature of this software now let's check the next also, you can also measure, check out the machinery and equipment also. It allows you to measure all of the machine. Let's see if your item of work or your project has machines that are, are look associated with it for uh, this is now we have a compactor for this project here. Now you click on apply filter. You see your leveling and compacting the duration. Okay, so it's telling you that for this for leveling and compacting work for this kind of this project, we're spending 98.59 hours. And we are paying 400 naira per hour so this is your total cost of renting that compactor okay so that is for machines and equipment that you'll be making use of on that project and all of this was calculated just based on your single quantity takeoff not repetitive quantity takeoff but a single quantity takeoff and it's giving you all of these details okay now if I go further, let me explain. Let me introduce us once again to the software. Now, the name of this powerful coin surveying software, which I would like everyone to go through, is called My Build Cost. Now, My Build Cost is an online coin surveying tool for builders and contractors. Now, it helps you to generate all your quantities accurately and provide prepares your detailed cost estimate. Have you have seen already for building works? It provides cost data for a wide range of building material buildings, materials and labor costs. Okay, now in the world where we need more information, more information, more information. Now you don't just get your bill of quantities here, but you get detailed cost estimates for various construction type and construction projects that you'll be working on. So construction projects for residential, commercial and industrial buildings all of this you can quickly prepare your cost estimate using this software okay the software is called my build cost for you to stick to this point in the video let me show you the next major amazing part now another major part feature of this software is you can set the name of the project the location of that project the building type if it's going to be bungalow building it's going to be multi-commercial building institutional you can set your building type here your currency 
okay so no matter what you are in the world no matter the currency you are spending in your country and all of that you get the currency there okay now the second part of this video i'll leave the link to the second part of this video in the description of this video where you can see more features of this software where you learn to know more about more how to share your work with other users collaborative schemes then the cost of this software all of this and more would be in the second part of this video so kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel and click on the link to the next part in the description to get the continuation of this video peace